So welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to talk about Jim Keller and AMD 7 nanometer. Let's get into it. So AMD's former superstar CPU architect and current head of AI hardware at Tesla is reportedly leaving the car maker to join Intel. Now Keller was the mastermind behind the most successful and competitive CPU microarchitectures in AMD's history. He led the engineering efforts on AMD's latest CPU microarchitecture, Zen, back in 2012. At Apple, he led the design team to much success to build the company's class-leading mobile processor, and in 2015, he left AMD to join Tesla, where he's been leading the company's AI chip design teams to date. AMD's resurgence in the PC space appears to have awoken a sleeping giant in Intel who had struggled to shy away from its iterative product policies where little innovation was allowed to bloom. Now, this is clearly changing in a huge way. Late last year, the company poached AMD's leading GPU man, Raja Kaduri, who was the lead of everything graphics related at the company's Radeon Technologies Group. Raja is now tasked with developing high-performance discrete graphics processors for the company to compete with NVIDIA and AMD alike. Earlier this month, we heard that Intel had poached another talent from a sm its smaller rival in the PR marketing department, and now we're hearing that it's snagged Keller from Tesla. Intel already has some of the most talented people to begin with, and it's piling on even more big names this year. It appears that a cultural shift is taking place within the company, and one that promotes a much more healthy spirit for innovation, and we personally can't wait to see where it takes the GPU and the CPU market in just a few years' time. But now on to good news for Radeon. AMD's president and CEO, Dr. Lisa Su, made an exciting revelation during the company's first quarter 2018 earnings conference call, indicating that 7 nanometer GPUs are much closer than we might have thought. Dr. Lisa Su has announced that AMD has working 7 nanometer GPUs running on the Radeon Technologies Group's labs right now, specifically 7 nanometer Vega, which is expected to begin sampling later this year. Earlier this month, we spotted a peculiar piece of code in a Linux patch that makes reference to Vega 20 by name. The patch introduced support for more than 50 new Vega-specific hardware level features, and we stated that this indicates that AMD could be approaching final post-silicon testing and validation of Vega 20, thanks to Dr. Lisa Su's announcement the other day. It turns out, it's exactly right. We brought you news of Vega 20 as early as January 2017. So we've known about AMD's plans to introduce a high performance Vega chip based on the seven nanometer process for quite a while. Confirmation of such a project, however, did not come until exactly a year later at this year's CES back in January. Although the company still does not refer to its new 7 nanometer Vega chip as Vega 20, previously leaked internal slides clearly describe a 7 nanometer based Vega 20 GPU that's specifically designed for AI and intended for market entry in 2018. Vega 20 differs from the Vega 10 in several key aspects in that it's designed to deliver eight times the double precision compute performance, double the memory interface with and support with up to four HBM2 stacks for a total of 32 gigabytes of HBM2 VRAM and with one terabyte per second of memory bandwidth. Now Vega 20 will be AMD's first chip designed specifically for AI machine learning workloads and is set to compete with NVIDIA's Volta-based accelerators, including the Quadro GV100 and Titan V. So with Intel snatching up this talent, what do you think about that? And what do you think about AMD now taking the approach of, well, server first, gamer second, when it comes to their next generation products? So we'd love to hear what you have to say on these topics down in the comment section below. And as always, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you in the next video.